Hey guys, thanks for joining in. My name is Joshua, co-founder of the Association of Pet Sitting Excellence, the APSE. In today's tutorial video, you're going to learn all about FBML. Now, much like HTML, which is the code used to build web pages, FBML stands for Facebook Markup Language, and you guessed it, is the code used to build those neat little, often interactive tabs you see on fan pages. By the time this video ends, you're going to discover what FBML is, what code you can and cannot use, we'll look at some creative ways to use FBML, and of course, I'll walk you through the entire process of getting the FBML application to work on your page and provide you with working examples you can use for your pet sitting business fan page. Trust me, once you see the process of getting it to work, you'll be relieved to see how easy it is and also how flexible it is. And as you'll discover, you can within minutes add FBML tabs to your fan page that includes YouTube videos, contact forms, newsletter sign up boxes, or really anything you can think of that would go on a normal web page. Okay, so let's get a few guidelines out of the way. To get the FBML box to work, you can input FBML style code or you can use the same HTML code that you may already be using on your website. I know some of you have had issues with this, so allow me to expand and clear things up. While good old HTML works, you have to know which HTML tags are not necessary. You know, the ones that will get in the way and really mess things up for you. The HTML tags you do not use are most of the tags in the header. These include HTML, head, your meta tags and descriptions. So, in other words, you can usually insert just the code that actually makes up the element you want to display. So, let's look at a real example from my pet sitting business webpage. Here we have the entire HTML code in all its glory. Now, let's say that on my FBML tab, I just want to display the contact form. Well, I'll ignore all this code here and scroll down to where the HTML begins and ends for the contact form. And I'll copy and paste this into my FBML box, which we'll visit in a minute. Now, the true strength of FBML is that it's really robust. It can handle plenty of HTML code. For example, if you're familiar with CSS style sheets, I could include this line of code directly into the FBML box, which would allow the output of my code to look the same as it does on my web page. The only thing I'd need to adjust is making sure the full URL to my website is there so it can correctly locate the file from the Facebook page. If your CSS code happens to look like this, you could even grab this block of code and insert that directly into your FBML box. Okay, most of this will start to make more sense as we get into it. Let's take a quick look at some great examples of businesses using FBML so you can see the true power of it. Ford Trucks, for example, shows a lot of the power behind FBML. They have videos, images, links, and articles. To help promote their Mick Cafe, McDonald's chose to integrate a Flash movie they made. And Animal Planet went a simpler, more traditional route by highlighting text from their Wikipedia entry. Really, anything is possible. And there you go. In this video, you were given a complete overview of exactly what FBML is, what code you can and cannot use, and we looked at some creative ways some companies are harnessing the power of FBML. 
In part two of this series, you will learn the exact step-by-step -step way of getting your fan page up and running with FBML. I'll even provide you with some code you can copy and paste directly into your FBML box. So if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your fans and leave any questions, comments, or feedback you may have below. And make sure to check out part two. I'm Joshua for the Association of Pet Sitting Excellence. Thanks for tuning in.